Yes, welcome back to Entrepreneurship Tuesday on Why in the Morning. <clears throat> and as I said, we always have amazing interviews lined up for you guys. Remember, our social media handles are right there below the screen. Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on Instagram, and Y254 on Facebook. You can always interact with us. We have a question on Facebook that I'm going to be sharing with you guys in a few. So engage us in that conversation. Uh, I have a guest in studio, and uh, today we are going to be talking about the rollout process uh, in the music business. And uh, I have the very best in R&B and soul in the country right now, Lost in Savannah. Yes, thank you. Karim <laughs> All right, your camera is number four. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can introduce yourself, a.k.a. Zako Zote Zikam, uh -huh. uh, so we can proceed. <laughs> I don't have too many AKs. All right. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so um, uh -huh. people call me Lost in Savannah mm -hmm. as a musician and artist. Mm -hmm. But my name is Bo James, mm -hmm. and I'm a creative from this part of the region, Nairobi, Kenya. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do things on different dimensions. All right, ODD, I like the way you yeah. product place that. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this is not your first time here, Bo. Yeah, yeah. And that means you're putting in a lot of work. I have been. You have been? Yeah. All right, Motion and Bounce <laughs> mm -hmm. is a project that is very dear to you, and uh, the time has come. Yep. Yes, an idea whose time has come cannot be stopped for sure. <laughs> cannot be stopped. All right, how did you know that the time has come? Because uh, from what I know, you finished recording this project mm -hmm. a while back. You've been promoting for a while. You've even had events. How did you know it's finally time to release? Well, um, putting out music is not always easy, mm -hmm. uh, especially if you're going for a much bigger... Uh, audience, audience mm -hmm. or or feedback you know mm -hmm. so you have to take the time to mm -hmm. let it go a as far as possible mm -hmm. through the available channels that you have mm -hmm. so for me I had a plan that mm -hmm. had certain stages mm -hmm. and um, after doing a couple of the things that I needed to do mm -hmm. I felt it was now time to um, release the full project mm -hmm and now full on the stages that come after. All right, so uh, there's so many things that go into rolling out music mm -hmm. and people use different approaches. Some people like to get into beefs before they release. Some people <laughs> like to, to get into scandals before <laughs> they release music. Uh, what was the approach for you? Um, well, for me, I think we live in an age where everybody's on their phone. Mm -hmm. And everybody's watching things, mm -hmm. including Y254. Mm -hmm. Shut up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I figured that if there's a couple of uh, materials that I can share with people beforehand mm -hmm. and um, also just engage with as many people as I can, grow my mm -hmm. networks, mm -hmm. then it would be you know, ideal to like, do a proper campaign. Mm -hmm. There's enough like chatter and um, like you know you'll have enough people engaging you about your content mm -hmm. before even the drop mm -hmm. so i figured yeah mm -hmm. that's what i would do all right there's a word you dropped the uh, uh that uh, so mm -hmm. uh, immediately uh, gave me a light bulb mm -hmm. moment mm -hmm. network Networks. so the networks you formed over time all right uh, so what is the important of uh, the importance of networking as an artist uh, for you so networking puts me um, in the same company mm -hmm. as like-minded people. Mm -hmm. That's really important because uh, that way you can both generate ideas mm -hmm. and implement them uh, together in a way that benefits all of you. Mm -hmm. So you find that the combined effort of everyone is genuine and it actually comes through and gives results. Mm -hmm. So networking is also important because like sometimes you, you just need people to help mm -hmm. you uh, with your vision All right. and if you don't have the networks to do so then mm -hmm. not because you're not talented or because you don't uh -huh. work hard enough but uh -huh. you just don't have the right person or people plugging you into the avenues that you need to be occupying All right. so, so the networks are very important when it comes to rolling out music All right. uh, so <coughs> uh, I had an artist here who told me uh, recording is easy for him. Releasing is the is the toughest mm -hmm. part for him. Is it uh, true for you? Well, I can understand him why uh -huh. he would say that because artists are very critical of themselves. Uh -huh. So before you 
have the confidence to release your music into the world and mm -hmm. share it with millions of people on the internet mm -hmm. and everywhere else. Even else. billions now. Even billions now. Uh -huh. uh, like, you need to reach a certain level of self-acceptance. Uh -huh. So <laughs> that's self-acceptance. Yeah, so, uh -huh. so, and self-confidence mm -hmm. with your music and your craft. Mm -hmm. That's why you'll find, like, sometimes I'll, I'll do a track. It has taken me almost a whole year. Mm -hmm to record Emotion and Bounce, mm -hmm. but I had to go back to the studio a couple of times, mm -hmm. you know, because I'd go and listen to a song like 20 times, uh -huh. and then go back to the studio and redo it, some uh -huh. parts, you know. So that's why the releasing process some, can become difficult sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, to add on to that, I think also when you don't have the right avenues mm -hmm. of releasing it or the resources, mm -hmm. Sometimes artists with their grandiose ideas mm -hmm. get stuck in a state of like fear of failure or fear it's of doing. It's called getting lost in the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, well, it, this is a different yeah, thing. It's, it's a deeper thing because uh -huh. like you, you kind of feel helpless uh, uh -huh. and uh, that can make an artist like crash. not crash or, and not put out any content. Uh -huh. So yeah, I understand him where he's coming from. All right, so. The ideas are greater than what you can actually do yeah. at that particular moment. You know, artists are creators, mm -hmm. so they'll always create visions. They're always whether, living in a cloud they're always somewhere. Yeah, they're always living in their own kind of universe. So mm -hmm. somebody has an idea and sometimes they, do the mis they make the mistake of making that idea become... They think that idea is who they are. Why? So yet... Um, I mean, you have to m make some steps before you get there. Uh -huh. So you kind of, you feel like you're falling short of who you are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so and before you yeah. are who you think yeah. you are, yeah. there has to be some work there. You have to grow yeah, right. and be that person. That reminds me of Drake's bar. <laughs> or, 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 okay. uh, well, well said, well said right there. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, there's also another thing. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> when it comes to every kind of industry, every kind of business, every kind of market, Competition is something you guys sleep on. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to music, I've seen people hold their projects because uh, so-and-so is dropping. Mm -hmm. Around that period, is going to mess us up. Mm -hmm. uh, so-and-so is dropping, we're going to hold. Uh, or somebody dropping the same day as you yeah. uh, so that they can mess up mm -hmm. uh, your drop. Is this something that you researched about? Who's dropping around this period? No, who's I hot, who's not? Actually, there's so many people dropping around this time. Uh -huh. Like, for one, Boutros is actually dropping. Uh -huh. It's uh, buzzing, for sure. You know, uh, yes. Beiti has something coming. A project, a full mixtape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what's his name? Miro. Miro has dropped. a full album. Yeah. Dropping. Lost in Savannah. Lost in Savannah <laughs> is dropping. <laughs> December you know, 9th, Deluxe is dropping, yeah, too, by the way. You know, <laughs> December 9th, uh -huh. by Barry here. Uh -huh. And, like, I don't see anything wrong with that. Because uh -huh. at the end of the day, um, statistics say that the average person has a concentra concentration span uh -huh. of uh, less than, is it 30 seconds? All right. Or even three. Before three you get distracted. Six, before you get distracted. Mm -hmm. I think there's enough, dis there's enough like uh, attention deficit <laughs> to, to, <laughs> to, to try to, back. To, to, get enough. Yeah, to, get, to get attention for your music. All right. Yeah, so like this competition, in, in fact, now, when you look back at what we were talking about in terms of networks, mm -hmm. those are my, the, all those people are my friends. Mm -hmm. So instead of uh, working against each other, mm -hmm. when they're dropping, they shout me. I, I shout them out. When I'm dropping, they shout me out, mm -hmm. like that, like that. So if, when we're dropping it's at the same time, it's an uh -huh. yeah, it even echoes farther because uh -huh. our reach joined together and um, something happening at the same time. Mm -hmm. create some kind of forces and I love that approach there. I love your way of thinking and uh, I'm sorry to ask, is it because you're an R&B and soul artist? Do you think <laughs> hip hop artists would think the same? Well, there's people who think the same, obviously. Uh -huh. Others have different ways Because rap of is a very yeah, uh, competitive, yeah, competitive and aggressive yeah. sport. Yeah. Um, I think that's a barrier for not <laughs> no pun, <laughs> I see what you no did pun that. intended. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think that's a barrier to mm -hmm. to co collaboration and mm -hmm. and moving far. All uh, right. So, I mean, hip hop artists like stop beefing for no reason. <laughs> <laughs>
yeah. I beg you, maybe they can come around and tell us yeah. how the beef helps uh, with selling the products. Mm -hmm. But emotion and bounce is done. How many trucks are on the are on the EP, and uh, do we have a date? Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. emotion and bounce is uh, launching on uh, 11th mm -hmm. of November, the 11th month. Mm -hmm. 11, 11. 11, 11. Yeah. That's Why 11, 11? Well, at the beginning of the year, I just started seeing that number every time, mm -hmm. everywhere. I just, uh, just look at 11, just look 11, 11. 11. Uh -huh. So it's so many times and it just subsided. All right. And when so I was as much as <laughs> Bo is strategic, Bo studies uh, business, Bo studies books, Bo, Bo reads books, Bo is still spiritual. Well, you can say so. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah I am. So there are times you make decisions based on mm -hmm. something based, else yeah. from something different from logic yeah sometimes you just have to go with a gut feeling wonderful motion and bounce yeah. is also a genre of music it is indeed mm -hmm. and um me and a couple of artists uh i mean and producers mm -hmm. we engineered a sound mm -hmm. like all the songs that you hear there there's no youtube beats there's mm -hmm. no beats that i just bought from somebody randomly mm -hmm. all those beats have a touch of me in them because we mm -hmm. made them with from the, scratch from scratch uh -huh. Obviously some samples, you know, mm -hmm. but in very minimal, like one or two songs. Mm -hmm. Otherwise the rest is organic from scratch. And uh, we just made a new sound, uh -huh. uh, put my vocals there and I just played around with everything, mm -hmm. created something new. Mm -hmm. And I think it's new because it's unique to me. Mm -hmm. And I'm not the same as anyone else in the world. All right. So that's why Bo it's... Is Bo. Yeah. Lost in Savannah is the Lost only Lost in Savannah, Savannah yeah. we are going to, exactly. so, we're going to find mm -hmm. in the Savannah. Yep. So, See what I did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Lost. Okay, uh -huh. so uh, we have dates. We have the title mm -hmm. of the EP mm -hmm. and uh, the, the platforms now. We need the platforms that we are going to be finding it on. Yeah, so locally, it's going to be available on Boomplay and uh -huh. Songa Music. Mm -hmm. So we're going to partner with them to do something. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, well, internationally, you can find it on Apple Music, mm -hmm. iTunes, mm -hmm. Spotify, and YouTube. All right. And, and just a few songs will be on SoundCloud. Okay, to an artist that is watching out there yeah. and uh, is trying to figure, how can I get my music on all those sites? Uh, I only know about YouTube. How can I get my music uh, to all those platforms? What, uh, what, uh, what was, it? what's the the way that? So there's, there's a bunch of third party mm -hmm. apps and uh, platforms which act as a distributor mm -hmm. for musicians all over the world. Mm -hmm. So all you have to do is pay an yearly subscription fee. Mm -hmm. For some it's two, 2,000 Kenya shillings, mm -hmm. some it's uh, 4,000. Mm -hmm. There are different plans based on your needs as an artist at that time. Mm -hmm. So I have the most basic plan because mm -hmm. I mean that's all I need right now. Mm -hmm. And I use it. I use DistroKid. Mm -hmm. You can just check out DistroKid online. Mm -hmm. um, the CD Baby. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of others. Just if you search for all those things, you just mm -hmm. find them on. The, you just on find the, them online. Yeah. So, all right. Do they get mm -hmm. a cut of uh, your streaming revenue? No. I mean, once you pay that subscription fee, mm -hmm. that's it. You upload all number of songs that you mm -hmm. want during that year. And then you can renew your contract. You renew. But your streaming. Uh, your revenue, streaming revenue comes in intact. All of it is yours. Like I've I've withdrawn four times this year. Uh -huh. uh, Nine hundred shillings, Kenya shillings, <laughs> <laughs> four times. Wow! <laughs> so at but least, that's yeah. money. That's money you can count. That's money. That's money you earned from your yeah. from your work. From music, uh -huh. like I mean, some, I never thought I'd make any shillings from music. I've made some money from shows. Uh -huh. Uh, from selling my art, uh -huh. from selling my services as a graphic designer and mm -hmm. editor. Mm -hmm. But music has always been <laughs> just down there. It's just down there. But it's revenue. Yeah, it's is revenue least. is the least uh, seen. But at least it's it's only bound to grow now. It's only bound to grow. Mm -hmm. The fact that I made some withdrawals this year uh -huh. means like at least there's something, you know. Wonderful. Yeah. All right. So uh, when you talk about cutting deals with uh, people like Bonplay and Songa, mm -hmm. how does this? How does this work? Do they get the, ex uh, the exclusive uh, for a day? Or no, for um, well, actually, like, for example, those two sites, are actually, they, they don't have restrictions. Uh -huh. 
so they're not exclusive you, they don't have exclusive rights to distribute your music uh -huh. so when everything is dropping uh -huh. it will also just also drop on their platform mm -hmm. um, aside from that mm -hmm. uh, like this there's a few things they help an artist do mm -hmm. like especially with the uh, um, SOE, what do you call it? SEO site optimization. Optimization, all yeah, right. So, uh -huh. like, like on their search engine, uh -huh. uh, people can find yeah, you. Can find they you easier. You they put you up there. Uh -huh. So, I mean, that's that's the kind of deals you wanna be striking with these people because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, they have a large market, mm -hmm. especially in Africa. All right. So, yeah, and I'm African. I'm not trying to ignore Africa as much as my music is international. Uh -huh. So, yeah. The music is in international but you're from Africa, oh, yeah. and you can't ignore where you're from. Yeah, definitely. All right, the next question is kind of opinion-based, and I'd like mm -hmm. to get your opinion on a few topics. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you, sure. Is you ready? Yeah. All right, so um, <laughs> which album mm -hmm. in 2018, 2019 mm -hmm. um, season, <laughs> mm -hmm. the league season, mm -hmm. which album uh, was rolled out the best for you? Which was the best roll-up for you in 2018, 2019? Mm. Well, leave alone the sound, how yeah, it sounded, the, yeah. the success of the album, just the rollout process, how you came to know about the album mm -hmm. and how you, and the things that were happening around the album. Um, I could mention many people, but I'll go for some of the really um, underdogs who came mm -hmm. up real quick. Mm -hmm. There's a guy called St. John. Mm -hmm. That guy came out of nowhere and took the world by storm mm -hmm. and because mm -hmm. he had the backing of a good label, mm -hmm. which made sure uh, his music was being played everywhere on mm -hmm. the on mm -hmm. the world. The right collabs. Yeah, the right collabs, mm -hmm. tours mm -hmm. across Europe, across America, mm -hmm. and all this happened off his first album. Mm -hmm. But he's been at it for a while. He's been at it for a while, but uh -huh. you but know, it's fa his first major your piece first of work. Studio album, all right. You know, I feel and, that. Uh -huh. and right now he's up there with all this new the A-list the A-list artists uh -huh. so I think that was a really uh, dope come up to watch mm -hmm. yeah I'm a big fan you're a big fan yeah. another <laughs> album that was rolled out in some way that mm -hmm. really got you well um, I could think I could uh, I could think of uh, Tory Lane's album Tory Lane's album yeah all right Tory Lane's uh, the, what is it called Love Me Now mm -hmm. Love Me Now the the, the the roller was good because right. it was very engaging. He's very visual. Uh -huh. He's very consistent, and um, like his music is just dope. The music so is dope as can't, well. You can't this, it. These are people yeah. you're fans of as well. I love I their music. I think my favorite was Astro World, man. If you ask me, Astro World. That's the, I would also, that's uh, number one actually. That's <laughs> number one. <laughs> yeah. Astro World. Astro World was. Part that was a that was a good one. Very and well I, th I think uh, as an artist, people mm. should study. Uh, guys mm -hmm. like Travis Scott, when you're planning to release your music, mm -hmm. just uh, study somebody like Travis, somebody like Kanye West, and just get to understand how these guys yeah. get to connect. See what they do. Uh, yeah. With the people. And True. The but uh, at the end of the day, it's a, like you said, it's about connection. You just need to connect with as many people so mm -hmm. what that when your material is available to them, mm -hmm. they care enough to, you know, click or watch or right. listen. Wonderful. Yeah. How can they find you on social media, man? Uh, so, if you want to see my art, see mm -hmm. my business and what I do in terms of visuals, you can find me on at, at on different dimensions or just o search Odd Society, uh -huh. O-D-D Society, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, my music is available online as Lost in Savannah, mm -hmm. that's Lost in Savannah. With a double N. Double N, no H. Just no one H. word. Just one word. Yeah. With a dollar sign. No, no, it didn't happen. It's, it's <laughs> right. normal, normal. All right, so Lost yeah. in Savannah. YouTube, uh, I'm on <laughs> YouTube. You want to watch my music videos, mm -hmm. um, just search Lost in Savannah. Mm -hmm. you find everything there. All right. Yeah. Uh, so one thing that you can tell people about emotion and balance and the reason they should cop it when it drops. Emotion and balance is an exploration of love, pain, and passion um, backed up by beats with psychedelic melodies <laughs> yeah and uh, 
energetically bouncing uh -huh. 808s and percussions. Mm -hmm. That thing slaps. <laughs> 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 so just, you need to go and you just need to get Thank it. you very much, Mr. Yeah. Bo, for coming to, yeah. to my other one. I want you to bounce. It's coming out on November 11th. That is November 11, 11. 11. Watch out for Lost Ends of Anna, Emotion and Bounce. You can even pre-order now. You can even pre-order now. Yeah. Where can they get to pre-order? iTunes. iTunes. Yeah. You can pre-order on iTunes. Uh, the rest, Boom Play, Sonka. Oh, yeah, and MOOC. MOOC. You yeah. can pre-order on on uh, on iTunes you can pre-order on MOOC as well. Mm -hmm. MOOC is where you sell it. You, you're selling yeah, copies. I'm selling copies, copies. Mm -hmm. and there'll also be merchandise, mm -hmm. t-shirts. Mm -hmm. um, I make art also, mm -hmm. like framed art. Mm -hmm. So there's a whole theme. Mm -hmm. I'll do another collection. I have an I have an event mm -hmm. um, every other month mm -hmm. called the collection series, mm -hmm. and uh, I display art as well as music with a bunch of other artists. And there's a whole collection of art mm -hmm. which is based off Emotion and Bounce, the album. Mm -hmm. And this art you can hang in your house. Mm -hmm. it, looks, it looks beautiful. It's, All yeah. right, why did you hide that part for us? <laughs> All right, so there's a series of pieces of art you've done yeah. that are related to Emotion and Bounce yeah. that are going to be sold differently. Oh, as much collective. Yeah, collectively right. as part of the whole drop of the, prog of the, of the mixtape. All right. Yeah. So we see artists doing merchandise, but you chose to do framed arts, framed art pieces as well. Mm, framed oh. art. Mm -hmm. There will be T-shirts. The same arts are printed on T-shirts. Not the same. Different. Uh -huh. Something different. Something different. Uh, buttons. You uh -huh. know the pin buttons. Uh -huh. Wristbands. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go all so out. So there are <laughs> so many ways to support loss. Uh, loss and support. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm, I was actually thinking today I'm gonna start a one million challenge. Mm -hmm. I want you guys to help me raise one million, mm -hmm. so I can do visuals for mm -hmm. this entire album. All right. And you can do that by buying my work. Uh -huh. It's not expensive. It's very affordable. Mm -hmm. It's very valuable. So you're not asking people to donate money for you. No, no, I don't. You donations. want to raise a million, but you want to raise it through selling your stuff to the people. Yeah, yeah, so buy it. So a list of people, a list of things you're selling. Yeah, so there's art, mm -hmm. there's the music, mm -hmm. there's t-shirts, mm -hmm. there's buttons, mm -hmm. there's wristbands, mm -hmm. and I also provide other services. I'm a vid I mean, I have a company that provides videography services, mm -hmm. music production, mm -hmm. um, we also do branding mm -hmm. and marketing. Mm -hmm. So if you want our services, just, I mean, help me make that one million. All right, so are we going to be keeping track with you? Are, we, are you going to be updating us? We had 100,000. <laughs> we had 200,000 now. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. You're going to do that with yeah, us for sure. I'm going to do that. All right, wonderful. <laughs> uh, this uh, falls right in place because we have an interview with uh, crowdfunding people yeah. that is coming up next. And this is going to be uh, teaching us on how we can raise capital when we don't have mm -hmm. uh, access to the capital, man. I salute you, Lost in Savannah, and you've come a long way. And uh, the creativity, <laughs> <laughs> I love the I love the creativity. Thanks, thanks. And I love that uh, your projects are well thought. Thank you, thank you. Yes, we yeah. have come to the end of this. You can find us on social media at white 54 channel on Twitter, white 54 underscore channel on Instagram, and white 254 on Facebook. Remember, we have a question on Facebook that we are going to be sharing with you. So engage us in the conversation. Head straight to our Facebook. You can find it there. And we'll be reading the comments towards the end of the show. My name is Barry Moses, or it's Barry Moses on social media. Emotion and Bounce, 11 11, 11th of, no of November. And it slaps, for it sure. Slaps. Don't go nowhere, don't touch that up. <laughs>